Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Y'all know <clears throat> it's an open conversation for whatever they want to talk about. Whatever these cards bring out, that's what we're talking about. This week we're using RZ Oracle's deck, um, Romance Angel Oracles. My main reading deck is the Hush Tarot. And hands hand on deck is the Gilded Tarot. And of course, we're using Big Mama Message deck. Done pre shuffled, put our energy on it so you don't have to sit through that one. Guys, these readings are meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively know and sense about your person. If that's not happening, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. See if I pick up the energy there. <clears throat> Y'all hear how raspy the voice is getting today. I've been talking all day. Woo! Please hold out for me. Mm -hmm. See whose energy is coming across the strongest for my Aries right now. Who's coming in for my Aries and what's going on? Let's see your energy, please. Aries person, Aries. Ooh, we got one right here. Romantic gesture. Ooh. Somebody's definitely wanting to uh, do a romantic gesture. Got soul searching. Soul searching. Oh. Denial. They're in denial about something. One more here. Divine timing. Divine timing. Ooh, Aries. Soul searching. Denial. Romantic gesture and feeling like the perfect time to do a romantic gesture. See what else will come out. This is for my Aries person. Ooh, waiting for the perfect time, wanting to make a romantic gesture. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Mm -hmm. But what is that soul searching and the denial? What is that denial about? Right here. Children, your love life is being affected by children. And forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Oh. So we got children involved somehow. In denial. This person feel like they're they're not being realistic about making a romantic gesture and where it could lead because there's children involved somehow. And forgiving and learning. Let's jump into the tarot. Let's push these aside and go deeper here. Find out what's going on. Bottom of the deck energy on pre-shuffle was strength card. The strength card is about inner courage. Uh, being brave, <laughs> yeah, but the only way you get that inner courage and being brave is through understanding. So, yeah, somebody's definitely trying to figure out the boundaries. You know, a lot of times I'll say on the strength card, you're either taming the lion or you're training the lion that's getting to know each other better and what, what we like and what we don't like, things like that. So, this person is trying to be you know, courageous <laughs> and take a chance. Uh, but the, the, I'm also hearing that the, they are questioning whether or not they're in denial about the bliss that could come from a connection because somehow there's children involved. Let's get them started here. Two of Pentacles, Acclimate and Change. And it's a balance, balance in different areas of our life. Seven of Swords. Oh, Seven of Swords. You know, that's about opposition, things like that, and feeling like something's been taken from you. The empowering side of it, you take back what you feel like has been taken from you. But this person is feeling like they have to juggle a lot in life. There are one of us or both of us like I said there's children it could be your children their children but it's like having the balance between that and but on, on a personal emotional level they feel like the opportunity 
what they're wanting is, you know, being hindered and taken from them. We've got Six of Pentacles, the card of charity. Yep. Uh, knowing what we can give time and attention to. How charitable we can be with time and attention. Ow. So we definitely, yeah. Mmm. Okay, let's let's go ahead and ask them on that Seven of Swords what's being taken from them. What do they feel like's been stole from them? Hangman trying to see things from a different perspective, and they're uncomfortable talking about the feelings that they have. Because to them, the feelings, the fact that we know children are involved somehow, somehow. This person feels bad for having the feelings that they have. They wish they had freedom. <laughs> to have responsibilities and obligations like that. We've got a Ten of Swords energy that is feeling emotionally, men mentally, and probably physically drained also. Where's the horizon? Where's the light? And then we've got uh, devotion on the um, Eight of Pentacles. Trying to perfect something be complicated and then ow oh, eight of cups mm, eight of cups is a card of so, the soul searching card actually it's about making sacrifices and the things that um motivate you to, p to pick and choose the stuff that you're you're choosing the direction that you go in so this person definitely is having some guilt <laughs> Over the desires that they're having um, because they are sacrificing for obligations and responsibilities. Mm. It's very emotionally unfulfilling for them, but they have to stay focused and dedicated to what they're doing. They are drained on an emotional, mental level because they are sacrificing um, love. I don't know how else to put it. Love in their life for, for obligations and responsibilities. Let's see the Two of Pentacles energy. Mm, and I just feel feel stress, stress, stress. Because my shoulders went tight and stuff when it comes to that Two of Pentacles. I'm not feeling very enthused half the time about having to juggle and be flexible and adaptable with things. Queen of Cups energy, the empath that's cancer energy is bringing in you know cancer's house of the roots the foundation of things and then the empress oh desires constantly longing and desiring but these these two cards are they have to juggle so much that they do they feel emotionally overwhelmed and drained trying to take care of everyone else, everyone else's needs, stuff like that. They don't take care of theirs. They ignore their self, what they truly want and desire. Oh, uh, and it, that is like mo big time mothering energy right here. But they're like, nothing feels worthwhile to me. It's like I've got nothing I want in my life right now. Ow, Okay. Let's see what they want to say before we jump into the messages on that Six of Pentacles. I can already tell they're like wishing, wishing, wishing. And they could take time, energy. Everything feels chaotic and confusion. A five of wands, and it's hard for them to speak up because about circumstances in their life because they feel like what their feelings and their thoughts don't really matter at this point. Judgment card. Yeah. That judgment card is also bringing back in. They they feel bad about feeling the way they feel. They can't help it. They really wish there was a rebirth. And trying to stay loyal, persistent, and steady. Um, the the Hierophant Taurus energy. Uh, be someone that... Uh, People can rely upon and trust and know, and know that I'm there, even though they don't feel like it. Yeah, that Four of Cups energy is like, oh my God, will I ever, my life ever be just my life? Mm, God. Hold the energy on that. Let's go ahead and get some messages through. <clears throat> Let's see what's coming in on that Two of Pentacles. Y'all let me grab some water because I'm getting extremely raspy here. 
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. What if we fall apart again? I want, I'm wanting to take the word again off, but anybody that it resonates to leave it on, leave it on. But for me, I'm wanting to take the word again. What if we fall apart? What if we get into this and it just all goes to sh shivers? I promise I will give more time and attention to our connection. They definitely won't be able to give time and attention. I'm hoping and praying that it's going to become true. Yeah. That I would be able to give time and attention to the connection. Over here on that uh, Seven of Swords, are the rumors about you and them true? Now, the key word on that one is rumors. This person may feel like you, you're you moving on, that there's just too, many, too much difficulty coming with them and that you may have started looking for someone else. The rumors can simply be the what they're telling their self. You're irresistible. <clears throat> and the, the fact, guys, on this one, something's being stolen from me, the rumors. Their, their brain is constantly going into, yeah, you, you might think they have too much baggage. I know we have a real connection. I'm crazy about you. Let's come over to that card of charity. That charitable six of pentacles. I want to tell you how I feel. Mm -hmm. You're so intimidating. <laughs> for whatever reason. I want to risk it all, but I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's rotate the message decks so I know what side to pull from next. And let's go back to the tarot. Let's see what else they want to bring out. I get this overwhelming sense. They're like just, yeah, they need a bubble bath. They don't, need, they don't take much time for their self. And they're so tired. Tired. Exhausted. Exhausted. The hair font. Oh, that two of pentacles juggling. Trying to be someone that's constantly there. The fixer. The one that's being relied upon. So our hair font again. Making sure people can have faith in them. Aries, we might actually be dealing with... Uh, I'm picking up water with earth energy. Uh, so it could be, you know, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The waters is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I'm feeling like their predominant energies that are in their charts would be earth and water. Coming in, uh, oh man, they're feeling alone. <laughs> alone. On that nine of pentacles, it's normally about confidence, things like that. But on an emotional level, it makes you feel like you're out on your own. You're having to do everything on your own. You have to handle everything. Yeah, what else? <clears throat> and the main card, fears up under... That card of charity, how much time and attention could I actually invest into a connection with someone? Mm -hmm. Fear, uh, the unknown, yeah. Ah. And they do, they feel very alone right now. Oh my gosh. Alone in their circumstances and situation. Oh, they definitely want to be someone that... If it's, you know, like I said, we got the kids card that, you know, my kids can rely upon. They want to be a good parent. We're just letting them talk. We're, we got a queen of wands. That's, that's the divine feminine Aries energy. And, you know, um, with her, she's the attraction. She is the, the leader, the leading influence. That's, with them throwing that card, they're saying they can't get you off their mind. They, you know, they're like, you're the first thing I think about when I get up. You're the last thing I think about when I go to sleep. And I'm probably even dreaming about you. The will. They want to take a chance in fate. They really wish and hope that you're meeting each other is fated. They want, most definitely want to spend time with us. Give time, energy, make a romantic gesture. But they're afraid of letting you down. Um, that if they don't have a whole lot of time for romance, that kind of thing, they feel, you know, they feel like they would be letting you down, but they want to, they want to. 
and the world card oh my goodness that world card is like saying it's over before it even begins mm -hmm. ace of wands they got a lot of passion oh man <clears throat> with this one it's like i said this person definitely wants to spend some time they want to go out with us they want to get to know us but they are so freaking busy and obligated in their life. And they feel like if they do, if they give in and make that romantic gesture, go out with us, start ma you know, t messaging, talking, things like that, getting to know each other, that it's going to be over before even we get to even begin. Because this is a lot of passion and fire on that Ace of Wands. Uh, there's a physical attraction. There's a phys physical longing and desiring towards you. Especially the fact that they're holding you in that uh, divine feminine Aries energy. Don't let the gender of that throw you. It's just saying, you got my heart. You captured my heart. My, uh, not only my heart. <laughs> more than that, because we're talking fire. Um, you're, they're you, their thoughts and feelings are consumed with you right now. And it's like, just like, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I was free. I wish I didn't have obligations, responsibility, where I could give a 110% of my time, energy, and focus on to you. But they, they know they can't do that. And they feel like um, the, if they start something with you, the passion is going to be fizzled out. Fizzled out in change. Yeah, when you see what, what they're... Because it'd be like they're saying, my life is a mess. <laughs> yes, one big mess. Oh my goodness. Hold the energy on this deck. Let's go ahead and get messages from them. Let's see what they want to say on the hair font. Played for a fool. I was the last one to know it. Blinded by love. Ow. With that one, that tells me a lot about this person. And like I said, um, <clears throat> the fact that they got kids, they're single. And they, they, when it comes to that baby, baby daddy, mama daddy, I mean mama of the baby and stuff, the ex, yeah, really played them. And, and, and left them in a hard position. Taking care of everything by their self. I can't imagine life without you. I don't want to have to imagine life without you. Oh, you bring in some fire and desire into my life. I'm struggling. I really want you. Oh, let's see on that nine of pentacles energy. Having to take care of everything on my own. It doesn't feel like the right time to approach you. Yeah. I'm willing though. <laughs> I'm willing to try. Please try to understand how I feel. I totally get them. I hope y'all do too. Yeah. What else? Over here on the fear card. I love the way you kiss me. Oh. Oh, have we kissed? Or is that them? Oh, no. <laughs> we haven't kissed, guys. <laughs> that was wishful thinking. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay, Aries. Oh, I promise there will be no lies and secrets again. No lies and secrets. No lies and hold on to that. That's an echo coming out of their thoughts. It's just a random thought they've got triggered on something. Let's see what else. I'm gonna pull on it, but let's see what else they want to say before we pull on that one. Right here. I'm waiting to hear from you. I'm waiting to hear from you. I'm ready to follow you anywhere. Oh, man. Let's pull on that one. And let's make sure it was an echo. I promise there will be no lies and no secrets again. I feel like that's just something that's triggered in their head. It could have been something that someone said to them in the past. Or something they've said. I don't know. Let's, where did that come from? No lies, no secrets. Moon card, subconscious fears. Ace of Wands. Oh, okay, hang on, because that's passion. And King of Wands, Leo energy. <clears throat> mm, hang on. Virgo Hermit. Oh, man, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a subconscious triggered thought that we picked up.
But the, were they married to a, another fire sign? Or were they in the connection that they had the kids with, with a fire sign? Because this is like somebody totally just dropped them and went their own direction, had better things in mind following their own light. We've got that Leo King, which is another loner sort of energy of the leader, the leading influence of something. The passion, passion, and betrayed, ten of swords, stabbed in the back. So they definitely, um, who, whoever they were in a connection with before, it is probably the other parent of the children, uh -huh, did a lot of betrayal. A lot of betrayal. So it does echo and trigger into this person's mind when they get triggered that uh, that's going to be a repeat pattern in future relationships is there'll be a lot of lies and secrets and they don't want that. So yeah. Ow. Dang. Well, I can understand it. Let's go ahead and push up. Let's get them to pick a deck they want to give you final messages from. This is for my Aries and their person. Oh my goodness. Oh. We're, we're, we're going to do a shadow deck, y'all. But there's still energy in here. In the message box. Hang on. Show me where it's at. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now that's weird. That's that's weird decks to, to pull out. But your person, I'm going with it. This is the shadow side of conversation with counterparts. And this is the long distance relationship deck. Brother and long, well, we're not together evidently from the reading. But let's go, let's see what they're going to say. Out of the shadow side of the deck. Aries person, what are you wanting to say with this one? Here we go. I'm afraid you've moved on. Can we st could we start over? <laughs> could we start over again? I make a bad impression. I have trouble sharing myself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to let you go. I'm not ready for us yet. Oh my God, okay. I'm healing old traumas. Yeah, now that's evident with, with that triggered um, echo floating around in their head. I'm awakening to what this love really means. I'm focused on other things right now. I'm ha oh, y'all see it. Because you're on their brain constantly. But they're trying. There is obligations, responsibilities, stuff they have to try to focus on. And that's going to be really hard. Uh-huh. Because you on the brain all the time. Let's see what they were wanting out of the long distance. It's my Aries person. Let me get that one more time. Aries person. Aries. There we go. It's better. Whatever you want to say. Aries. Aries. Here, right here. I know I can make you so happy. You. I need to know when we will be together or if we could be together. Time. How much time can I give to you before I actually venture into it? I hate when we can't talk. It drives me crazy. What else? I found a diamond. I know you're worth waiting for. I want to wake up with you beside me. I just want to keep you safe and warm. <clears throat> One more, guys. This is it. My life was so gray until I found you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Aries, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.